Okay, so we got to build a box. This is the box we got to build right here. This was cut by the great people at uh, Metal Supermarket. That's the name of the store. They sell steel for us small guys, you know. That's nice and square there. Boy, I see why everybody gets these little fabrication tables. <laughs> that would have been so much easier. try this box out then we can weld it all up I'm leaving the top open because that's where the air filter is going to go this is the top of the box I'm going to put some bracing in there that'll be the top of the box let's go try it out so here it is it's all in there nice so what's going to happen is the turbo is going to go in that side and then right there the turbo inlet is right there, it's gonna go straight in. And I'm gonna put an air filter in here. This is six inches by seven inches by nine inches deep. That's the size of that box and I'll have two of them. Now I just gotta go duplicate it and then fully weld it up. So here it is. That's my driver's side box that we built, you know, here it is. It's six inches by seven inches and it's eight and three quarter inches deep. You see the turbo is gonna feed in through there. It's gonna come out through there. Uh, it's more to stop the rain from getting it sucked into the turbo. That's why I'm gonna have the air filter there or else I would just run a, a straight pipe. That's the whole reason for these boxes. You don't wanna suck in water. I don't really plan to drive in the rain, but but you never know, you might get stuck in the rain. You gotta drive your car. Don't wanna blow your motor up. So anyway, I try to keep uh, about a half inch gap in between the turbo and the box. I'd had a notch out right in there. You can't really see down there, but 
is a little bit there. So, yeah, so there we go. That's what's going to feed the turbos. And let me just show you what the engine bay panels on. It looks pretty good. Had to notch them out a little bit, but no big deal. All right, so there it is. You can barely even see the box. I may make a filler panel to cover that, but who knows? Anyway, so there's the engine bay as of right now. You can see the turbo inlets. It's gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be nice. I had to notch out around for the box. Gotta leave about a half inch gap. That's why I still haven't really finished that. Makes a nice little clearance over there on that turbo side. This one looks nice too. Anyway, well, I'll smooth it all out before I sand and paint it, of course, but still in mock-up phase. Now I need to make this little area right here to kind of go down for the lock mechanism. I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I'm going to do for that. I might take and weld some aluminum pipe in there at an angle enough to mount a radiator filler neck, uh, the cap there. Anyway, that's it. That's how I did it. On the next step.